Hi, and welcome to our Intelligent Vehicle Podcast. I'm Gary Rubin. Joining me to talk about how cars are becoming more like electronic devices is Elliot Garbus, General Manager of the Automotive Solutions Division at Intel. Elliot, welcome. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Let's get started. Here's the first question for you. What is the opportunity for the automotive industry in the Internet of Things conversation? So I think there's a lot of opportunities for the automotive industry in the Internet of Things, and we can take it from a few different perspectives. I'll start with the perspective of the automotive companies themselves, that there's an awful lot to be learned about how the vehicles are being used, how the technologies inside the car perform. It may not be obvious to think about it as an Internet of Things dialogue, but the car itself is both a source of information and can be a recipient of information. So if you correlate a weather report, the fact that my windshield wipers are on, that I may be having traction events with my speed and where I am on a map, you can deduce an awful lot about what the traffic situation is. And so the car itself becomes an instrument for talking about what the traffic situation is and is participating in an Internet of Things way, sharing and broadcasting uh, information that uh, is useful, it's almost kind of a a wisdom of crowds or crowdsourced uh, information around traffic. And as, as I think a little further out in time, there are great opportunities to further leverage that kind of crowdsourcing of maps, that the maps that we enjoy in our vehicles today are largely two-dimensional that are focused on helping us get from place to place. As we start moving towards self-driving vehicles and the use cases that are precursors to self-driving vehicles, I suddenly want a lot more information out of my map. I want to understand where curves in the road are in a way that I might moderate my speed so that I deliver uh, both a safe and comfortable drive. I want to know where speed limits change in a way that I can change my speed in a fuel-efficient, safe, and comfortable way. And I'll probably even be interested in the topography of the road. So if I know something is hilly and bumpy, I may travel at a different speed than if it's a, a smooth piece of roadway. And All of these things are elements of an Internet of Things application in the vehicle, both some things that we can expect to achieve today as as well as looking a little bit uh, further out in the future. What hurdles have to be overcome to make all of that happen? And also, what infrastructure changes need to be made? I think there's a lot of interesting technology challenges that the industry is working through together to try to drive through this. A lot of participation of the Internet of Things rely on connectivity. I think we live in a world where the connectivity options are only continuing to grow. The reality of the vehicle, and certainly on on my own commute to and from work, is there may very well be places that don't have great connectivity. And not allowing that to be a barrier, but recognizing that that is part of the environment that the car operates in, the infrastructure changes are evolving themselves. And I think a lot of the core pieces are in place. I think over time, what we'll expect to see are more and more sensors around the car and that as we move forward in connected vehicles, there's a great opportunity to actually make our vehicles much safer, and that that's gonna mean a lot of infrastructure in the vehicle needs to evolve. We'll perhaps have more radar sensors, certainly more cameras, and uh, that is gonna help to create uh, safer experiences is there anything else you want to mention and 
that relates to all this data coming through, how will it further improve the driver kind of experience behind the wheel? Is there anything else that you can share? Part of this is an element of the fact that our vehicles have largely operated in a world that has been disconnected. If I think about the web for a moment, the web advances so rapidly because those people that create content, that create web pages, they get feedback about what we click on as consumers. They understand what we do. I think there's also a great opportunity to start integrating that same kind of web feedback where there's an opportunity for automakers to learn and understand how people are actually using technology in the vehicle and use that to guide design experiences to create user experiences that are really are more compelling. But I think we need to move to a world of over-the-air updates that, and experiences that can evolve and improve over time. And also, there needs to be a way for the automakers to actually capture what we do in our vehicle and make those experiences better within a specific generation of technology and as it evolves. You also really need to look at the challenges of delivering these experiences and recognize that these are very software-rich platforms and that the dynamics of these platforms are much different than the dynamics of uh, an AMFM cassette deck that these are investments that should be thought about over the course of generations of vehicles, that the software needs to be able to evolve and grow, and there creates these software-rich systems create opportunities to deliver new and compelling experiences that are automotive-specific that could be either sources of new revenue or ways to build customer loyalty. Elliot, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate your time. This was a great discussion. Thank you for your insightful questions. I look forward to talking again.